Lord of Jesus Christ uh, the Lord of Lords uh, we will talk today about uh, our Lord sacrifice in the Quran according to Quran simply Islam considered Jesus was not crucified and Allah saying clearly in the Quran that Jesus was not crucified now we will read the surah and the funny this is the only surah Allah do talk about Jesus sacrifice in the Quran a very important topic Allah forgot to mention anything except one verse just one verse and you know when there's tons of verses in the Quran about the sexual life of Muhammad but Jesus Christ sacrifice I'm not talking about Jesus Christ uh, uh, things uh, uh, or like miracles etc no sacrifice this is the only verse in the Quran talking about that so in here we will see how funny is the explanation of what happened what Allah's story is about and we will prove to you that Allah is a deceiver let us read together in Surah 4 verse 157 they said in post we killed the Al Messiah Al Masih Isa the son of Miriam first who is the one who said we killed Al Masih according to Quran this is a Jewish first the Jewish will never kill will never say we killed Al Masih because this is mean they approve that they killed their Messiah the Jewish will never kill the Messiah and until today until today they are waiting for the Messiah and because Jesus he claimed to be the Messiah they killed him not because he is the Messiah for them so when the Jewish do say we killed the Messiah it's mean okay this is the Messiah and we killed him this is number one mistake what is number two mistake the messenger of Allah <coughs> We killed the Messiah, son of Mary or Maryam, the messenger of Allah. Do Jewish consider Jesus Christ as a messenger of Allah? First, he is not a messenger for them. Second, they don't consider Allah as God. So when you say that the Jewish said we killed the messenger of Allah, it means they approve him as a messenger and they approve your God Allah too. But the Jewish don't approve Jesus as messenger and they don't approve your God even they don't know who's Allah they have no idea so how you say the Jewish said that we killed the messenger of Allah when their God is not Allah so three mistakes in a very first reading they said we killed the Messiah when they don't approve him as a Messiah and they will never say so and if he is the Messiah they will never kill him they are waiting for him number two he is the messenger and therefore the Jewish he is not a messenger for who for Allah the God of who Allah the God of the Jewish why the Jewish will say we killed the messenger of Allah when they do not know even they never heard at that time by Allah let us continue <clears throat> maybe somebody will say to me oh Moses told him about Allah show me where he said that he told him about Allah and even if they knew about Allah if they knew that he is a messenger of Allah they would never kill him they will love him supposedly you know Jewish they love Musa why according to the Muslims Musa is a Jewish of uh, he's a he's a messenger of Allah why they killed Jesus the messenger of Allah but they did not kill Moses the messenger of Allah why they killed Jesus the messenger of Allah but they did not king the kill the uh, Salmon the messenger of Allah according to Muslims why they killed Jesus but not all the other messengers of Allah according to Quran so first Jesus is not a messenger of Allah said secondly they do not consider him as a messenger otherwise they will never kill him second this is the third mistake let us continue but they killed him not nor crucified him now the Quran denying clearly that Jesus was not crucified or killed he is not killed okay cool what happened but so it was made to appear to them appear to who appear to us the Jewish the Christian whoever was, was there whoever was there because even his mother she was there the follower of Jesus Christ was there the Jewish was there the Roman was there so it was um, appeared to them in general everybody appeared to them what that Jesus was in the cross <clears throat> so Jesus was not in the cross but it was appeared to them that he was in the cross now what happened exactly if we go to Ibn Kathir this is Ibn Kathir we will go there and we will see that's according to Ibn Kathir according to Ibn Kathir uh, 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 the Quran saying that Jesus when he felt 
that they are coming to arrest him, he asked one of his followers, who is the one? He will take my look and I will take him with me to heaven. Hmm? This is what Ibn Kathir is saying. فلما أحس بهم وأنه لا محال من دخولهم عليه أو خروجه إليهم قال لأصحابه أيكم يلقى عليه شبهي وهو رفيقي في الجنة. So Jesus he said to his followers who they are inside the house who was in, who is the one he is going to sacrifice himself, take the look of me and Allah will put it on him, so he will be crucified and I guarantee him that he will go to heaven, which means the price of taking my look is going to heaven as if the others they will not go to heaven this is weird as the others they are a good believers why this guy only what kind of promise now secondly in here Allah is showing us or Quran showing us or Muhammad showing us that Jesus Christ in this story is a coward why he want to run he want to save himself and he want one of his followers to be killed imagine what kind of a hero the one who will say to one of his followers or soldiers you know what what about you die for me and I run this is a coward this is not a hero this is not a hero this is cannot be a messenger of God the messenger of God will never run so he did ask somebody to die for him and this is an act of cowardness and Jesus Christ will never do so number three or number two why Allah will put the look of someone else you know uh, the look of Jesus Christ in someone else according to the story one of the young guys in the followers he said to him me me nobody else said that and he when he repeat to the third time he said okay that's you and right away this is what the story is saying let us read and right away Jesus he said to him Anta huwa, wa alqa Allahu alayhi shabahu Isa. say Jesus he said to him okay it's you who choose to be me so Allah right away he put the look of Jesus in this guy and this this guy he became the same exact copy as Jesus Christ you know this is Allah power now don't discuss it exactly as Jesus even fingerprint is going to be the same so even if the FBI come to check of Jesus Christ they will find that this is the same one when he is not so what happened list after next they took him uh, 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 sorry uh, Allah he opened a window in the roof and right away a window in the roof according to Ibn Kathir وفتحت a window in the roof من سقف البيت وأخذ عيسى عليه السلام سنة من النوم فرفع إلى السماء. God he made him sleep. He make him sleep. I don't know. In a second, he just was talking. In a second, Jesus Christ he is snoring now. And Allah took him to the sky through a window, and he saved him. Now the question. If Allah he saved him even before the Jewish or the Roman came to arrest Jesus Christ, why Allah did he clone someone else? What the need of a cloning if Jesus is already saved? Jesus is already in the sky before even they arrive inside the house. So why he cloned them? I will tell you why. Because Allah he is showing us that he is a deceiver. He want to deceive the Jewish and the Christian and the Roman. Everybody including us, including the Muslims. Why? I will tell you why. Because Allah when he cloned someone else put him in the cross looked like Jesus Christ exactly he made the Christian write down in their book that this is Jesus Christ you know the Christian did not lie according to Quran when they said that this is Jesus Christ why because simply the Quran saying they saw that and the good man the good women who say what they saw it was made to appear to them here we go so as long it was made to appear to them we just said what we saw and as long we said what we saw it mean our Bible is very accurate we cannot say something else except what we saw this is what we saw so this is what we saw this is what we have in our Bible and the Quran saying yes this is what they saw and this is a true so the one who did lie is the one who made Jesus look like fake one in the cross and deceived us and by that lie he made the three billion Christians believe in Jesus Christ when it is not him so what is my fault to believe in the lie of, of the lie of, of Muhammad and the lie of his God Allah and what is my fault to be punished that I believe that Jesus Christ was crucified when Allah is the one who made that lie Allah waited 600 years until he sent me somebody to tell me oh uh oh Allah was playing games with you this is the deceiving of God Allah I don't know that God is a deceiver but in Islam he's a deceiver and this is a proof that Allah is a Satan we will talk about this more later